Oxford Reading Tree Biff, Chip and Kipper Stories Level 8 Written by Roderick Hunt Illustrated by Alex Brichter Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter Published by Oxford University Press 2011 Hi everyone, this is Miss Tong Let's keep on reading. Save Floppy! Previously, the mountain looked steep and rocky. Chip found a dried up stream. The gully was an easy way up. Biff and Chip began to climb up the gully. Suddenly, the evil genie appeared at the top of the gully. He clapped his hands and water began to gush down the gully. Biff and Chip climbed onto a big rock. The water roared past them. They were frightened. They didn't know what to do. Then they saw Kamar. He tried to rescue Biff and Chip. He threw a rope across the gully. It caught a branch on the other side. Biff and Chip climbed to safety on the rope. They were so pleased to see Kamar. <coughs> Kamar came to help them rescue Floppy. They began to climb the mountain again. Biff yelled at the giant bird crossly. At last, they reached the nest of the giant bird. They saw a lot of bones, but not Floppy. Where was he? <coughs> then they saw Floppy. He was fast asleep, and he had a contented look on his face. In front of him was a pile of bones. <laughs> oh, Floppy! said Biff. Wake up! Floppy woke up and wagged his tail. <laughs> Floppy was alive! Floppy was okay! <laughs> Actually, Floppy was more than okay. He had a contented look on his face. What does that mean? That means he looked happy and peaceful. Can you tell why? <coughs> well, just look at the big pile of bones in front of him. He was in dog's heaven. <coughs> the children risked their lives to rescue Floppy. What if Floppy didn't want to leave? <coughs> we must get back quickly, said Kamar. The evil genie may use his powers again. <coughs> oh, I'm glad we are going, thought Floppy. But I'm sorry I can't take all the lovely bones. <coughs> They went down the mountain as fast as they could. Floppy loved the lovely bones. But he loved the children even more. <coughs> he was glad to be going with them. After he took as many bones as he could. Do you remember the second thing Hassan said about the genie? That's right. The genie could only do two bad things a day. <coughs> the genie used his power once to send the water rushing down the gully. He could use his powers one more time. <coughs> what did Floppy take? from the mountain top. 
he took as many bones as he could. Then they saw Hassan. He had come to look for them. I am so glad I have found you, he said. I have been worried about you. We are all safe, said Kamar, and we have rescued Floppy. <laughs> it took a long time for the children to climb up the mountain and rescue Floppy. It made Hassan really worried. <laughs> Hassan should be proud of Kamar for being such a brave and good friend. Hassan was worried. He looked at Kamar. The genie may use his powers again. We must get away from the island as quickly as we can, he said. They began to load things into the boat. The boat was mended and ready to sail. Hassan carried a big bunch of bananas to the boat. But do you think they could escape the genie by getting away from the island? I think the genie might be able to find them no matter where they were. What if he made a storm again to wreck their boat? <coughs> Only Floppy was not worried about the genie. <laughs> Jip looked at the old chest on the beach. It had been washed up in a storm. I don't know what's inside it, said Hassan. It could be treasure. Why don't you open it? Asked Chip. I don't have a key, said Hassan. <coughs> Chip looked at the chest thoughtfully. What was he thinking about? Did he want to open it? What if there was another evil genie in the chest? What do you think? Should he open it? Chip had an idea. Lend me the magic key, Biff, he said. He put the key in the lock and turned it. The lid of the chest sprang open. Everyone looked in the chest, but it was completely empty. Surprising. Good thinking, Chip. Sprang open 就是弹开的意思 But it was an empty chest. Nothing inside. How disappointing. <coughs> What did Chip use to open the chest? He used the magic key to open the chest. Suddenly, there was a crackling sound and the terrible smell of old burnt socks. Mm. The evil genie appeared. <gasps> ha! You have escaped my powers. Too many times. Now I will deal with you once and for all. The evil genie appeared in different sound and smell. This time it was a crackling sound, 噼里啪啦的声音 and the smell of old burnt socks. Yuck. How many loud noises and terrible smells did he have? He wanted to deal with the children once and for all. 
the children wanted to put him back in the bottle once and for all, too. Once and for all, 就是一劳永逸，一次到位。Who would succeed, the genie or the children? Chip thought of a way to trick the genie. Quickly, he shut the lid of the chest. Why did you shut that chest? Asked the genie. What is inside it? Uh. It's something very valuable," said Chip. "Is it treasure?" asked the genie. The genie was not only evil, but also greedy, and Chip knew it. Why did he tell the genie there was something valuable in the chest? How was he going to trick the genie? What happened next? Let's find out in the next episode. See you next time. 本节目由喜马拉雅出品。